My name is Harry. Today I'm going to show you how to use a volt meter to check the charger and battery. So uh, the first thing we want to do is uh, check the charger. Sometimes maybe you get the battery and the charger and you put the charger in the battery but there's no charge, you cannot charge the battery. So probably there is a problem with the charger and uh, maybe the problem with the uh, the battery so we uh, just check them in one by one so first let's check the charger you can see we have uh, connected the charger to the electricity power and we have get the charger here and uh, because uh, there's a three small pins uh, inside and uh, if you just use a voltmeter meter uh, uh, pins to check the charger probably it's easy to get a short so we I put just uh, three uh, paper inside so to separate them so it's uh, not easy to get a short so I will ask my colleague to hold the uh, the charger uh, plug head for me and I will use show you how to change that okay the first thing you have to use a uh, voltmeter and then just uh, you have to go to direct uh, current and uh, go to the number I uh, got to 200 voltage Okay, 200 voltage and then Red for number one or positive black for uh, Lective so I'm not so I'm not sure this is the charger go to uh, uh, What number one or number three pin or number two pin? I'm not sure just uh, we we'll test that and then we can know so here we can see that uh, this one is uh, number one. Okay, just hold it up. This this one is a uh, number one, and here this one is a uh, number three, and here is a number. Uh, here is number two. So we we'll check it out. Red for positive, and black for active. So you can see. Oh here, then yeah. number one and number two. There's no voltage, which means that this uh, uh, this charger is not working for number one and number two pins. So I'm going to check number three. Now you can see the voltage go to like a uh, forty, uh, fifty five, uh, point six, which means that this charger is uh, okay and the problem and at the same time it's all working for number one and number three pins okay so the charger is fine if you cannot find any voltage on the charger like me do here so probably there's a problem with the charger okay right okay this is for charger now we're going to check the battery input uh uh, charging hole here uh, why we need to check it out because uh, currently we have uh, um, different suppliers on other one supplier they go to like uh, the charger like uh, here number one and number three pins so here should it be number one or number three but another charger another battery supplier they offer different supplier charging pole you know, one number one or number two so the charger uh, also should be number one and number two. But sometimes maybe this came at the same time, so maybe there would be mistakes. So we we'll mix that. So maybe you get a wrong charger or the uh, wrong wrong battery. So you cannot charge. So this is a way we can to uh, tell uh, <clears throat> how the battery uh, charge. So is charger from number one or number two? Hole where it is going to number one or number three hole. So let's do that check the game. Okay, the same thing. We need to go to the 200 voltage. And here we can put like, uh, okay, red wine for positive number one. Okay. And then go to number two. Oh, sorry, it's uh, number three. You will see here is a uh, voltage is 15.1.1. So definitely this battery is working for number one and number three charging go and then if I move uh, the black one go to number two charging hole you will say there will be zero 
a voltage, which means that this battery is not working for number one and number three charging hole. So it should be number three. If this one is go to number one and the number three, and the charger should be go to number one and number three. So nothing match should be works. Okay. So this is to tell you how to uh, tell the probability is the charger or the problem with the uh, battery in uh, a charging hole here. Okay, another thing that I want to tell you is that sometimes maybe you will receive the battery and then give the full charge, like here. Uh, sorry, you have to put the battery switch on, otherwise you will no, uh, no voltage on the voltage meter. And you can see here, when the battery is full charged, and then you will see one red light and a slim three uh, green light here. Uh, like this way, that's oh, right. Okay, so which means that the battery is full charged, but actually the uh, maybe the battery is is not full charged because uh, some cell, the battery cell inside may be broken. So when even it looks like a full charged, but actually when you test the input charging hole here, like you see, it's good to like a number one and a number three, and they only get like a fifteen one point one, which means it's not a full charge. Uh, back to the, the charger, when the battery is full charged, the voltage should be like a, a four fifty point. Uh, 54.6 but I can tell you that this, this battery is okay no problem because uh, this battery actually is not a full charge uh, we can test that uh, just uh, get okay take the paper out and then we put like uh, here You will see here when the battery is charging and the red line will be on and if it's first charged should be red uh, should be from red to green so you can see here the battery is full for charged and uh, when <clears throat> it's a uh, full charge the first thing we can see is go to green and also the, the the charger when the when it's charging the charger should be like a uh, a little bit warm or hot, so this which means that the charger is working. But then after maybe six hour or seven hour, even twelve hours later, you still when the battery uh, the charger light become to green, and then you put the uh, the voltage meter. Okay, test that. You still get the voltage lower than 54, uh, 54.6 uh, so which means they will probably have battery uh, the, uh, the, uh, means a battery cell inside some battery cell inside is damaged, it's not working properly so uh, in other case you can help us to make a warranty claim for that but normally if the battery is not really for charge you will see less uh, it's for charge should be like a 45.6 uh, okay so this is a uh, Another uh, problem you may have uh, with uh, the battery uh, use range. Okay, the final problem you maybe have is that when you put the battery, is the battery is full charge, and you also switch on the uh, the the switch uh, the, the switch on the battery. But if, when you put the battery on the bike, you cannot turn on the turn the bike computer which means it cannot to you know the boost the bike so probably there's a problem with the battery output so input is changing okay no problem but probably there are also problem with the uh, output if the battery the output here cannot re, you know cannot release the uh, the power from the battery so you can there's no connection I mean the battery connection to the uh, the controller or to the bike computer to the motor everything so in this case we need to check the whether uh, the output part for the battery has any problem 
Here you can also see here that we have a two uh, positive uh, sign here and also the two uh, negative sign here. So the same thing, red go to positive and black goes to negative. And you will see here, we can get the same voltage as the input like uh, uh, 51.1 so which means that this battery working is fine uh, the input and output working fine no problem okay so uh, this is uh, 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 how we use a voltmeter to uh, help you identify the problem for the charger and uh, the battery Okay, the last thing I want to say to you is about the battery key here. You will see here we have a battery key and we have a battery uh, key number and here's also the key number. And here also is the same number on the, the uh, plate here. What What is the number used for? Maybe sometimes you put a battery on the bike and you look on the bike. But uh, in some how your uh, battery key is lost or stolen, well, don't worry, just couldn't find them. So maybe you need to ask to help you to find a spare key. So in this case, you need to tell us the number on the battery lock. So we can do that. So and then we go back to ask the battery supplier give us the spare key for you. So, okay. Hopefully this information is helpful for you. Thank you.